welcome to logical ayurveda today we are going to see the difference between neelabringadi thailam malathiyadi thailam and ayyapala kera thailam so before going into the topic i wanted to uh, talk a thing about social media a little bit we live in a era of in social media dominance and we see ayurveda trending everywhere which is a good thing and a bad thing as well there are a lot of fitness influencers fit tubers youtubers giving serious advice about ayurvedic medicines called kum uh, kumkuma di neelabringadi thailam and ashwagandha tablets etc so i'm very happy that these thing reaches masses uh, don't mistake me i'm very happy that a lot of people are trending about ayurveda but i'm afraid that it nev- sh- never send a wrong message to the people okay so having s- said that let us move into the topic so neelabringadi thailam neelabringadi kera thailam we have a detailed analysis of the neelabringadi thailam contents where to use where not to use where to give which patient you should not give etc so it mainly contains neeli bringaraja datri coconut milk cow's milk buffalo's milk goat's milk gunja and anjana and tela thailam or kera thailam as the base so in falashruti it is mentioned that neelibringadi is kesha sanjananayet param for sanjanan of kesha improving the hair growth and reducing the hair fall it is very good so let us break down content one by one neeli has an excellent vishahara property see in kerala it is a common practice that medicines containing neeli are used as a vishahara dravyas neeli daladi kera thailam neeli tulasi adi kera thailam this is taught to me by mahadevan sir that neeli has an excellent vishahara property as well and it is other property which is kesha krishni karana which is changing the gray hairs that property is very useful in neeli bringadi thela it is especially when when you tell neeli bringadi thela the first thing that comes to your mind is that it reduces the gray hairs that is because of mainly the neeli inside it even in tamil nadu neeli is called as avuri podi neeli neeli powder is called avuri podi in tamil it is very famous for uh, being a natural hair coloring agent so and neeli bringadi also contains anjana let sulfate for kesha krishna karana also so thereby uh, this two contents helps in uh, improving the or reducing the gray hairs so another one is bringaraja bringaraja is kesham by prabhava it is it's param kesham so bringaraja is available in our hair oils leave that amalaki datri datri is also very kesha so it contains amalaki coconut milk ajakshira mahisha shira gokshira etc all are sheetha and brahmana in nature now here comes the problem now if you prescribe neeli bringadi to a patient with pitta vridhi and extreme dryness in the scalp it will give wonders to the patient as influenced by masses in the social media but as it contains all this dravya and it is coolant in nature it is brahmana in nature when you give it to the patient with who has sinusitis kafaja shirashula or allergic rhinitis of kafaja nature kafaja pratishaya or who has less density of hair or alopecia areata where you should give some other medicine which is kafahara in nature or some other taila ushna tailas like malathiyadi there you prescribe neeli bringadi it is it will give absolute zero effect or a negative effect to the patient i have seen so many patients sinusitis increasing just because i prescribed neeli bringadi kera thailam and later when i changed the taila they felt lot better so neeli bringadi not only neeli bringadi anything in ayurveda is not a one size fits all prescription you cannot make it common and give it to everyone you get neither ashwagandha nor neeli bringadi nor any medicine nor kumkuma adi thela you can give to everyone in the world you have to analyze the dosh of the patient and then only you can prescribe that is the problem exactly when it is trending in the, in the social media when it reaches the masses people don't understand it has an associated negative effect when it comes to prescribing a wrong people or taken without a proper guidance 
i am a greedy ayurveda practitioner who wants the best for my patients so what i used to do is i used to mix neelibringadi thailam kayunyadi thailam and kuntala kanthi thailam all these mixed together why because my concept is that i want all the goodness of all kesha strifala musta everything together so i used to mix it and i used to prescribe in the special condition where there is pitta vritti and where there is hair graying etc where patient has rukshata in such cases i used to prescribe and i used to put my clinic name and uh, charge it at a premium um, and it was very successful combination till date and people are uh, crazily buying it so we can find it out such similar combination through yukti mix it them so that their prabhava gets increased and we can make a special combination out of it